want a skitchin bitch bring your cables or your lace come join us for a pack a face hi everybody I'm like trying to figure out why i'm shifted yeah. and we have a dog today <laughs> it's honey today though today we have honey I us today i left him home we were going to have extra kids but they decided to stay home together which is fine it is fine. I deal with kids all the time. I, I need a break. Yeah. Teenagers <laughs> are a whole thing. Yeah. Preteens are a whole thing, too. I have a yeah. fourth grader right now who I swear is, like, turning 17. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lauren, if you were my yarn that I balled up this morning, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. would you be in my bag? I mean, I would hope so. Ugh. But, you know, sentience and yarn. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yay, hey, you found it. Yarn, yarn, yarn. <laughs> Oh my gosh so we have reached the point of the year where jenna has lost her dang mind same it's october october is teacher hell that is yeah that is a fact <laughs> mine has nothing to do with work mine just has to do with the fact that i really want to make myself two sweaters mm -hmm. three sweaters 12 sweaters but also it's holiday knitting time right mm -hmm. so i've got I put everything away except for this is the project I want to make. This is the project I want to make. Okay. It's not over. It doesn't, it doesn't work. That so. works for about 30 seconds in my house. Right. So. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, this. I got really excited and made the beginnings of the choose your own fungi sweater. So cute. So cute. So we've got that. Look at the happy mushrooms. Eek. But it's supposed to be. Sized for a 12 year old. Yeah, no. No. That that fits you. Yeah. And so our, someone, someone in our knitting group was like, did you do a gauge swatch? No, I did not. Who does gauge swatches? Right. <laughs> and I love like the density of the fabric is right. Mm -hmm. But I, nev I never yeah. love like the circular yoke because I just, I don't know, like it never is quite what I want. Yeah. And so I was like, whatever, I'm just going to knit it up. But but it's really cute. It's really cute. And I'm going to gift it to my other niece, who is not a very small 12-year-old. Yes. Um, so I have to do the sleeves on that and finish it up and decide if it's long enough for her, because it's not long enough for me. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not long enough. Oh, and then I was vacationing. So pretty. And so... I it's cast on this and it's out much. Oh my god, it's okay. That hound's tooth the, pattern I needed uh, in my life. And the back, it's slip stitches. Mm -hmm. So it's just, I don't know, it's like, it's such an easy... I need it in a sweater. That's what I need. I need that pattern yeah. in a sweater. I know, this is from Lamb and Kid. I know they have a hat. I don't know if she's done a sweater yet. I could do a sweater. <laughs> Right? Like, you could figure it out. Make myself do a it's really, sweater. It's really interesting because, like, the middle, right, where you're doing the increases mm -hmm. has, like, this fun... I don't know. It's just... It's so fun. It's, it's so, so good. Um, You know, and then the edges are... Do, 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 do. They're fun. Yeah. I love it. And so this part went really fast, and it's going to get slower because you need three skeins. And I'm not through the first skein yet. Mm -hmm. So it's like... You know, the fast part, and then, like, mm -hmm. every row gets longer. Oh, well, yeah. Because you're embiggening every time. Yeah. So I started that, and I'm really excited, because I'd really like to just sit and work on that. Mm -hmm. And then the one sweater is all color work. Is that the Ophelia? That we the Ophelia, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And I downloaded a different one that I really like the color work on it as well. That would be, like, a just a top color work. Mm hmm uh, so I need to look and compare construction on those two because, like, Choices. if Ophelia is like, hey, by the way, we're bottom up, I'm going to be like, mm, maybe not. I don't know. So I have to figure that out. But I can't figure that out because I keep making other things. Yes. And then I started I <laughs> brand new pattern, Venomous. It's so fun. By Stephanie Lotvin. It is so freaking cute. Um, so I'm really excited about that because I'm going to make that for one of the kiddos in my life. Um, and it's like this light gray color, but it's shiny. It's got sparkles, sparkles in it. And then I'm going to do black 
Also the sparkles. Ooh, with fuzzy black sparkles. E. So the spiders will sparkle. I love and so it. I started that yesterday and I had to wind yarn this morning because I didn't wind yarn yesterday. Yes. Winding yarn can be a battle. I had a battle yeah. last week with my plucky that I made my Ooh, uh, yeah. husband's hat out of. And it's lovely to work with. It is beautiful. I love plucky. I had never used plucky before. My husband got it for me when he was on his uh, bike trip to Monona, Minnesota. And he was like, I found a yarn store there. And he so bought me some yarn and some notions and such and had it shipped to our house. Because <laughs> so he was like, good. I'm not bringing it home on the bike because that would be nonsense. Um, so hey, they shipped it to me and I opened it up and it's plucky. And he was like, I was thinking you could make me another hat because he left yeah. the hat that I made him on a bus in Germany. Um, yeah. So I'm sure somebody is very happy with a handmade hat, but it is not him anymore. <laughs> yeah. So I my husband has spent the last several weeks talking about the scarf that I made him mm -hmm. once upon a time. I hate making scarves. They're straight. They like you just forever. do the same thing back yes. and forth and back and forth. I hate it. Mm -hmm. He is very much a scarf wearer and was like, but, but the scarf, and it wasn't my fault that it got moth holes in it. Didn't you get it like a super fancy woven scarf that you could? I did, but it's not the same. Him occasionally? <laughs> it's not the same. I actually bought that for him, but oh. no, it's not the same. Like he keeps, it was a Jared flood pattern. Mm -hmm. It had reversible cables. It's called Pavement mm. by Jared Flood. Like Jared Flood patterns. Yeah, and it is. It's just like it was just like a classic, good weight, mm -hmm. made out of shelter. Like the first two years that shelter was a thing. Mm -hmm. So I think I have to make him the same scarf. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> Obligation gifts are tough. I've been. I swear, yeah. I've been working on the same. Um, kimono not kimono uh, yeah that's what it's called though yeah, uh, yeah pattern for my mom for literal th three years now <laughs> um, right because i'm like i don't like it it's the same thing for it's a four row repeat for 300 stitches mm -hmm. um across the row and and then it's yeah repeated over and over and over for 300 rows yeah and i'm real mad at it and yeah. I don't want to knit it when I'm mad at it because it's a gift and I don't like to right. you resentfully don't, you don't want knit to put gifts. That, yes. <laughs> so. Well, and that's just it. So we're going to Paris mm -hmm. and I'm making, I want to make Isaac a monster doodle cowl and Sage is getting the spider cowl. Aiden will get nothing because she doesn't want anything because, <laughs> you know, 14, how dare I knit her anything? Yes. Um, but yeah, Jay's been talking about that scarf, and I know he'd wear it, and I know he'd love it. Mm -hmm. And if I can do it as a surprise, mm -hmm. yeah. I do love a I love a gift knit. Like I I genuinely I do, do like making knitted gifts. I made Michael a sweater last Christmas, and yeah. he was so happy with it. Does he ever wear it? No, because he's afraid he's going to mess it up. But he yeah. loves it. <laughs> well, sweaters are hard with Jay because his um, sizing keeps changing. Mm -hmm. So. I've made him a couple of sweaters and he doesn't wear them ever. Mm -hmm. But the scarf he would wear. Mm -hmm. I just think making scarves. Yeah. I and like I really those. want to make myself a sweater for Paris mm -hmm. because I bought the yarn specifically. Fancy. You have to be all fashionable for Paris. Yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Except I don't know if I'm going to have time. <laughs> but I've got two months, yeah. right? Between now and the end of Christmas, I can hopefully get a couple of scarves. Mm -hmm. And then make myself a sweater. And then maybe I'll take the color work sweater with me or something. Mm -hmm. And then that's what I can work on after the holiday when we have knitting retreat. Yay, knitting retreat. I'm Ugh. so excited for that. And November we have a little mini, oh, yeah, our mini, mini treat. weekend retreat. That's Just true. in town. That'll be nice. And, I'm so excited. And with the configuration we have, we'll be able to actually knit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about food, I think last was it last weekend and like what yeah. are we gonna do for food and it was like we could just like order pizza like we're gonna i don't want to have to like deal with like who's bringing fancy what snack boards and, yeah fancy cheese boards order cheese boards i am happy cheese with board that. dessert board snack board yes i am thrilled about it and yeah yes i am very excited to just kind of chill for a week yeah and well and that's why not, i figured not like, Brook, brookfield's super easy because oh yeah Renting an Airbnb locally, not having to like 
you know, nobody love, has to clean. I love the retreat that we do in February, but like that drive to Sister Bay is oh my god. Yeah. It's like a three and a half hour drive. Well, and I and love it, it feels like it's forever. <laughs> I loved this idea of us doing it because nobody has to host, mm-hmm. nobody has to clean, mm-hmm. and we get to just chill. <laughs> Yeah, just relax and... Just knit and hang out and turn off our brain for a little while. And mm. I know that we're all kind of on the struggle bus for this year. Yeah, it's all been of us. a rough year. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. knitting, fun, fun, fun. Yes, I have been mostly crocheting still. Making a little... I made... Uh, our friend Julia, I made her cats some cat toys with some cat Oh, cute. I, a little, I made a little macaron, a little cookie, and then a little coffee cup with like a little... That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's very cute. Um, and she has sent pictures of them playing with it, so at least they're getting some use out of them. Yeah. Um, I have been making all sorts of toys for my kiddos, uh, or my rock star prize box. And, yeah. Um, yeah, and then I knit. I got my knitting mojo back because the... Uh, uh, webs had a little promo on Instagram for their penguin pals kit. Yeah. And penguins are my shit. So I made a little penguin he's so and he's so fun. And I'm going to make pocket a, a pocket? couple more. It is not a pocket. I, I, uh, it's picked up or across yeah. here and then knit, uh, down and then you sew it on. So that's cute, but he's so cute. I would have done that as a pocket. And this is the small one and I can do, so maybe cute. I can do a pocket on the medium. That would be really one. cute. But I'm afraid it's going to be like flappy and look weird and I wouldn't like it. So I'm not sure. But I would stick things in it like other penguins. <laughs> Stick smaller penguins or little in fish. my penguin pocket. Oh, I do like the idea of a little fish. Wouldn't a little fish be cute? Oh, in very pocket? cute. Or like a little egg. A little egg. Yeah, that would be so a cute. Egg in the pocket. I don't know. I will see. So I have two more to knit, and then I can knit them little clothes in the little hat and like yeah, scarves. Yeah, so cute. And I love that it's sparkly. It's sparkly. I love that. It made me super happy. So, and you know, music teacher, and we do pass the pumpkin in fall. I think we're gonna do pass the penguin in winter. Yeah, good. And so I will get some use out of them too. They won't just be fun little decorations. And then because I have my knitting mojo back after starting my penguin knitting. I am working on Jamie Lomax's Doodle Cowl. This is her fall one because I got the fall doodle deck at the Sow's Ear this summer. And so I have made this little like, I don't know, they're like little flowery, viney kind of things so far. And now I'm working on a little leaf for the second section. I love it. I I do. I want to use bolder colors for my next one, though, because this is it's very nice. Emily does such a nice job. Fangirl fibers. I really am happy. I love the colors, but I like wish almost that I'd done a different deck or different like chart with these colors. I don't know. They feel a little more like, like, I don't know, maybe Valentine'sy or something like that. Yeah. So fall was not the was not the right uh, right color combo for this. I. Made a mini one with the, mostly the monster deck, I think. Um, And I did it with Glow in the Dark yarn and Fangirl Fibers um, Haunted Mansion. So the colors are super bright. Yes. But then also Glow in the Dark, which is fun. I didn't know if they glowed in the dark with the Haunted Mansion. No, I that one about didn't. buying that. Nope, and... that one didn't glow in the dark. Oh, okay. The yarn I'm holding with it oh, okay. is yeah. glow yarn like okay. that I just bought off of Amazon. And so it's it's kind of fun. But I 100, if it, if it had been the Haunted Mansion one that did glow in the dark, that would have been a selling point for me. Right? I've been like online right but, now. Yeah, look at it. It's so fun. It's so fun. And they're bright eyeballs. Yes, I love so, little bats. The bats are adorable. Yeah, so a couple of places I was holding three colors mm-hmm. that was part of why i only did three charts because i was like i'm, I'm done i'm mm-hmm. done with this um and it's for a 12 year old and she'll be super happy with it yes. hopefully and it's so cute it's enough yeah. but i'm going to make another one for isaac yeah i like that i am going to uh queen city yarn this weekend today Probably today, I will be looking for some more DK white yarn to make some more uh, doodly things and looking for some kind of different. Are you going to try to get there to meet any of the 
So I do want to go tomorrow for, um, what's his name? Yes. I know his Insta handle is Flannel and Pearls. Yeah. Um, I'm terrible with real names, but I know Insta handle names because that's yeah. where I spend my life. That's, I would love to go meet him too. Also, I haven't met Katrin in person. Oh, Katrin is lovely. She yeah, was, and she's uh, going to be there, what, D&D Sunday? Group. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's a lovely human. Yeah, she really is. That and cardigan is so pretty. Her heirloom cardigan. Pattern. It's so it's popular so cool. too. I keep seeing it popping up. I'm surprised places. by it because it's like it's kind of like uh, throwbacky, kind of vintagey, yeah. like kind of uh, almost grandma like, like in the cozy like granny yeah. square kind of feeling. Well, and the different colors and that so I've seen cute. it made in, it is. It's really mm-hmm. lovely. And Amber was working on it mm-hmm. when we were camping this summer. Mm-hmm. And it's really cute. It's yeah. not something I would make. It's not something I would like. I'm I'm genuinely like, it is a lovely design. It's not like my personal taste. Right. But it's so cool to see how popular it is that like. It is. Oh my yeah. gosh. That is, that is so cool that like. Right. This vibes with so many people. So I would love to actually like meet her in person mm-hmm. because it, there's so many people in our area that knit now, mm-hmm. but my schedule is opposite land. Yes. So I don't always see them. Yeah, I just like, I I want to do all the things and I do not have the energy. <laughs> well, like, right. Okay, I need this weekend to die and so that I can live during the course of the week so I can do my job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is not ideal, but also like you work in a job where you give your entire being to other people and you need some recovery I would time. know nothing about this. Oh, no, this, see, this is yeah. why mm-hmm. I, I know you can relate because you <laughs> give your entire being to other people. Yeah. And it's your, funny because like, so. somehow, like, it's such a weird life moment mm-hmm. having teenagers because somehow I babysit more than when I babysat. Because now you need to give rides to everybody. Well, they all need rides. <laughs> They're not quite independent enough to just like be left alone for a weekend yet. Right. And yeah, well, I so the mall. so I have to take you to the mall and babysit you at the mall. Cool. Well, no, I don't have to stay at the mall, but like Isaac's friend yeah. is coming over mm-hmm. and her mom works. And so can she stay at your house until 10 o'clock tonight? Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure, and the other friend is in from out of town, mm-hmm. and so I've got her all weekend. Right. And they're lovely. Mm-hmm. I have no problem them being there, but mm-hmm. it's also very funny when it's like, do you want to hang out with my kid while their friend, your kid, is <laughs> not at home? It's like, okay. Yeah. So that's why we were going to have extra kids today, and I was going to teach her how to knit. Still can. <laughs> yeah. Instead, I, I let my kids skip school, so I didn't have to deal with it. Yes. The kids can entertain each other. Yeah. They want to go to Six Flags tonight. I don't want to go yeah. to Six Flags. No, that sounds awful. Honestly. Yeah. I would knit, though. Um, well, yeah. I mean, sure. Like, but I will be on this bench. You can come find me when right. you're done. <laughs> but I would rather go to Cream City and meet Northwood fibers yeah she is there today great great yarn i love their stuff yeah yeah i have so much northwood fibers right now because i was going to do the rumble raglan i still need to do that oh um, yeah but i've bought that like crazy vibrant rainbowy yes montage so pretty and i am so happy with it but yeah i, I love their stuff so but and yeah so this Emma's is yarn trunk show i need right to get in on. right and so this is what's DK. going on yeah, is because yeah. it's ryan beck mm-hmm. our local yarn store has just lovely, amazing people for us to meet this weekend. Yeah, they're doing like their own little like Rhinebeck themed kind of their fall fair. Um, yeah, and I'm really excited about it. So I was gonna do that. I this am weekend. too, and instead I have to go to Six Flags. Mm, tell them no. Yeah. Oh, wait, children, they don't like that word. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And it's actually nice out. I was like, oh, oh it's well, gorgeous. Well, maybe it'll rain and then I don't have to go. No, it's like 57 degrees and beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> so. it's so lovely out today. Look, stripes. Yee, yee. Stripe. Wait, you can't see my stripes there. Stripes. Yee, stripe. Ooh. Happy. Starting Happy stripe. it. Um, and so <laughs> I'm wearing my Panguono, my crazy, crazy sweater today. Yes, you're Stephen West. Stephen West. Because we need to talk Poor about Stephen West. West. Oh, he's been going through it. 
Yeah, so he made a foobar. Y- yeah, I, he didn't mean to. I mean, no. it was not intentional. Um, and I think anyone who knows the kind of human that he I mean, presents himself to be. Right. Um, would, would and just <laughs> lovely. Like, assume. I just... His apology was heartfelt. Mm-hmm. His whole personality is just delightful. That's someone that um, I would love to meet in person. Same. Same. Yeah, I would I would go to Amsterdam just to like go to his shop. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's yeah, he seems like a lovely human being. Um, and I feel awful that he's gotten like obviously the mistake was unintentional. He apologized and he corrected it. Right. And Immediately. Weirdly, people are like, Well, why'd you change the pattern? You don't have to change the pattern. Everyone is so woke and sensitive these days and yeah. I cannot believe that people like that exist. Like I know they do but it's hard to believe and mm-hmm. I cannot stand it. Well, Just... right. And to get mad at someone for trying to take the moral high ground. Yeah, it's gross. And the path of kindness. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, I just... And it was exactly the right response. Because yeah. why, you know, it's not, it's not intentional, but it is causing people harm. So stop causing people harm. Fix it. Apologize. Don't right. do it again. Well, and, and he, that's exactly he's what we should have done. The people who are complaining too, like, hi, hi, we're choosing the path of kindness. Mm-hmm. Let's just do this. Like, let's just think about other people's feelings for once. Yes. And like, changing it does not harm you in any way, but its current design, right. as it is, you know, as it comes across, it is hurting other people. Yeah. So fixing it does no one any harm. And, God, I feel awful for him. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to hug him. Yes. And his little baby puppers. Yes. And I just, I don't know. It's it's a hard thing. I don't know how it got, like, past him that it was it could have been seen as, as problematic. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a little surprising that he didn't notice at first, like, when yeah. he first designed it. But well, understandable. And I think he said, like, wasn't he looking at, like, vintage wallpaper patterns? I think so, yeah. You know, so it's like he was seeing just the pattern mm-hmm. and not how it could be construed. Construed, I can't yeah. word. Yeah. I can't word today, Lauren. I understand. Braining is hard. Yeah. Yes. But so, yeah. So I'm wearing my Pangolono today yes. in support of Stephen. Yes. And, and I would have worn my painting brick shawl if I'd known we'd been talking about him today. I know. But uh, I also am in support of him, and I think he's a lovely, lovely human being, and deserves all of the love yes and squishes yes and i i would absolutely hug him with his consent if he was here <laughs> i if he probably would hug him without yeah. consent i am i'm not a hugger so that says something <laughs> yeah. and i am lauren hates it it's fun <laughs> yeah yes um so other fun things partially that was how i heard about the stephen west situation because I'm oblivious to most things in life. Yeah. Um, But there is a YouTube that someone turned me on to that has been just delighting me and making me giggle this week. Knitting tea. Knitting tea. What did we decide what her name was? Uh, Her name is Emma in the moment. Yeah. Emma in the moment. An adorable young person talking about craft drama craft drama and it's funny because she's like and in 2003 (laughs) and is talking about like you know like giving people the history of ravelry yes and it's really fun because it's like oh remember those days remember when the nazis tried to take over Ravelry? remember remember 20 years ago (laughs) when we had first started knitting Right after Trump won, the uh, the right wingers tried to take over Ravelry for a while. Right, I do remember that. Um, but it's like, I mean, Ravelry's been around for twenty years. I know that's crazy. It's very crazy. <laughs> it hasn't changed a whole lot since then. And so watching this <laughs> young person trying to break down, like, okay, back in the day, <laughs> before I was born. <laughs> yeah, I think she's a little older than she that. She might but, be a little, you know, older than that, not much. <laughs> in yeah. days of old. Yeah. So it's it's fun. The couple that I've watched so far, there's a little bit about Stephen West and how well he handled the situation. Mm -hmm. And then there's one, like I've watched like two now, where it was like, this person stole my pattern. Oh, yes. That kind of drama is delightful. 
Yes. And you the know way what? that people it's handle knitting. it. There are two fucking stitches to use. Some of them are going to look alike. Right. And yeah. And like people who handle it well and people who mm-hmm. handle it not so well. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I don't know if I'm doing this Drama. Right. I enjoy a drama that doesn't have anything to do with me. I don't like drama that involves me. That's very frustrating. Indeed. I don't want to deal with that nonsense. But uh, yeah, if it doesn't have anything to do with me, tell me all the things. Me everything. Right. Come Love and sit it. and talk shit with me, please. Well, and it's it's a nice <laughs> it's a nice break to like, <laughs> you know, just listen to knitting drama instead of um murder. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if it was knitting drama that involved murder. Ooh. Oh like um only murders in the building where she'll like yeah. <laughs> with yeah. a knitting needle? Yeah. Yep. In Indeed. I am more scared of that now that I know somebody who has been stabbed, like somebody oh, personally yeah. who has been stabbed with a knitting needle. <laughs> oh my gosh. I felt so bad for her. Our friend um, sent photos in our group. She had her double point needles sticking out of her bag and like she leaned down at just the right angle that it, it stabbed her in the calf and like went in an entire inch. No, And no, oh no, my no. God. No. no. No, thank you, please. Um, so I've been like extra careful about using um, needle stoppers. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm mm-hmm. so sad. So I the, got the Webb's Penguin Pals kit, and largely yeah. because uh, they had uh, penguin needle stoppers, I brought them into the doctor's office, took them off, I've apparently got some. set them on a chair, and forgot them. And I'm so mad at myself. Come over after I've got some for you. Okay. Because <laughs> I ordered some. I've got goats and penguins. And coffee mugs. I had not been able to find penguins. Like, I've, I've been looking some. for penguins, and I've seen, like, the llamas, and they're very cute, and the unicorns are also very cute, and I had not been able to find penguins, and I was like, oh my gosh, this little penguin kit that I can make penguins, and they have penguin needle stoppers, and I was so excited, and then I lost them. Yeah, I think I I've got, so like, mad at myself. I think I've got, like, four different colors. Really? So you can have lots of penguins. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I was going to save them for the holidays, but you can have them now. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can have them now. Penguins. I love penguins. Yeah, I was so mad because I was like digging through my purse going, where did I put them? And damn it, I left them on the fucking chair at the doctor's office. Well, I always forget to put them back on my needles. Mm -hmm. Like, right? Because you just shove your Mm -hmm. bag in the... Mm -hmm. So so while I was traveling, I was like, I put them in my bra. (laughs) Because otherwise I just throw them in the bag and then they're in the bag and not on my needles. Fair. Smart. Yeah. What are the cute ones I've got on? Where did I put my... Bleh. Why am I such a mess? Jeez. I mean, life. So these ones I've got um, little gnomies. Oh, little gnomes. Wizard little gnomes. wizard gnomes. Little Halloween gnomes. I and then I that. had other gnomes, and then I had witchy ones, but I don't... Cute. I don't, I don't know. Um, like, somewhere. <laughs> There's somewhere. <laughs> so, yeah, needle stoppers are always a, always a hit for me. I enjoy them. Yeah. So. And I'm supposed to make potato soup today. Oh, nice. Baked potato soup. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to make like a chicken and grapes dish or something because I have been not doing anything food-wise lately. I have a problem with that. Yeah. <laughs> like, right, I'm like, I have not been eating well because they upped my injectable. Oh, dosage, yeah. And it fucks with my appetite. And I don't want to eat. And I don't want to cook. Anyway, Michael bought yeah. a bunch of stuff for a grocery order and was like, you sent me this recipe. I was going to make it and I haven't made it yet. Maybe you can do it on your day off. Okay. <laughs> right. Well, I have to. I'm going to that party tomorrow mm. for Sophie's birthday, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I had said, "Oh yeah, I'll make baked potato soup." Well, usually it's made with bacon, and you cook the bacon, and then you cook the vegetables in the bacon grease. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have to make it vegetarian. Oh. So just like potato soup. Well, I'll have to use like a vegetarian broth right 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 i'm just saying like without the like i feel like potato bacon soup is always my go-to because the bacon adds like some heartier flavor well i'll bring bacon to put on like to sprinkle on the top for people who aren't vegetarian i gotcha but like i'll have to season it and make it taste good somehow Mm -hmm. but i don't have any of the things i haven't been to the store yes have i mentioned i have extra children today and i don't really want to be cooking meh Exactly. If I could bribe the kids to do it and somehow make it fun, I don't think that's going to happen. Potato soup off. 
right? <laughs> All right. You get these potatoes and you get these potatoes. Make them taste good. Yes. Good luck. Um, Chefs to your station. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So I've got, I'm supposed to do that and go to the store mm-hmm. and then got outdoor party tomorrow. Mm-hmm. There's a two bonfires tomorrow that I've been invited to and then another one that I should really go to that happens to be on the day you want to celebrate your birthday. Oh, shit. So I may have to try to figure out timings. Sorry. I, I didn't realize that. I didn't either. Um, but I my I don't friends, want to conflict with anybody. <laughs> my friends do every year, mm-hmm. and it's been going on like 25 years, mm-hmm. and they're selling their mom's house, so it's the last oh, one ever. That's so sad. So. Yeah, that's definitely something you should to go to. I know. So I'll have to figure it out. Yeah. Depending on karaoke times. Yeah. Well, karaoke times can be, I think they, oh, they start at like seven. So, I mean. Yeah. Anytime. We can do an that's early figure, one. We'll figure it so out. It'll be okay. Yeah. Yes. But, and yeah. the bonfire is in Oconomowoc, so it's... Ah, that's a trick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then they'll be like, hey, Jenna, make more potato soup. And I'll be like, no. No. Yes, we are going to Murder Mystery Dinner Theater this weekend. That's fun. For our anniversary. Because our anniversary is the 24th. And uh, I have today and Monday off of work because of our fall break. And so, yeah, I was like... I was looking through the events of things to do in Milwaukee, but I think a weekend or two ago, I, know, I saw this murder mystery dinner theater, and I was like, so can fun. we do this for our anniversary? Because yeah. who doesn't love a little murder on your anniversary? Yeah. <laughs> for your anniversary. We, um, went, we went to New Orleans. Yeah. That's probably we, a little more traditional way to celebrate. <laughs> we did nothing except sit in bars. Yeah, that's less fun, but you know. Yeah, it was okay. Fun. Can it be was, fun. It was what I expected. So, lots of vibes. <laughs> Counting the amount of drinks that my husband had mm-hmm. every day was amusing. Yeah. <sighs> don't really three for have one. To, I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. We had three for one, Lauren. I had five cocktails. Oh, wow. Through the whole day. Five. Mm-hmm. Five. It mm-hmm. started at breakfast. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then... He had 16. Oh, my gosh. I know. Can you even imagine? That hurt my liver just thinking about it. And he's like, <laughs> every morning he'd be like, I just I just don't feel good. I don't know why I don't feel good. I'm like, hmm. Huh? Could it be the 16 cocktails Shocking. you had yesterday? Shocking. Maybe you need a glass of water or coffee? Yeah. No? Drink more? Okay, just drink All more. All right. <laughs> I mean, just... I love a breakfast cocktail. Give me a mimosa, like, yeah. you know. But then to keep brunch. going but... all day. Yeah, that makes my tummy hurt. All day. And my throat hurt. And all yeah. the things hurt. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't drink that much. Mm-mm. It would, I, I would didn't. be so sick. I would be so sick. I would not be moving. Right. Um, but also, yeah. it's New Orleans. So, literally, like, heavy I didn't... Heavy drinking culture. Heavy, well, yeah. three, four days. Mm-hmm. I don't think I had the same cocktail twice. <laughs> so. That is exciting. Like, yeah, I, I it like was to fun. be a little adventurous with my cocktails. I... Got overly adventurous on Monday and tried a cocktail at Trivia that was not good. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was like, it was. I thought it was going to be watermelon y. It was called The Bitch Don't Kill My Rind, right? Cute. And it was very cute. Um, and it was like a watermelon goes with tequila and some tahine and Ooh, lime, right? Um, I was like, oh, that sounds really delightful. I'm going to try that. It was not good. It was yeah. a very uh, tequila heavy, and like the watermelon taste was not there. Luckily, yeah. Julia and Todd enjoyed it, so yeah. um, I ordered my very basic bitch, like grapefruity, yeah. seltzery kind of drink and That's that awesome. I know I like. Um, and I was like, well, that was worth a try. That's so funny. <laughs> now I know. Yeah, fun. Yes, we did not win trivia. We did get third place, though, so we get to make the playlist this week. Oh, good. That's like Sorry. Lauren's goal now. Like, yes. you just want third place, yeah. please. Yeah. So we won the week before, though, and mm-hmm. then we got second before that, and I think second another time, too. So we're good at trivia, but we're yeah. like playing to get third because we like the playlist. <laughs> yeah, that's so fun. <laughs> so we yeah. love it. Yeah, it was a good time. Um, Someday I won't have children and I will join you. Yes. And tomorrow I'm getting my hair done. Ooh, good. I'm doing my sunset themed coloring. Yeah, I'm very be excited so about fun. it. That'll be so fun. 
Uh, I do like purple and pink and yellow and orange faded. I'm going to keep mine the nice cloudy day. As one does. Uh, It's quite quite lovely. uh, It's Mm. not quite lovely. It's horrid. I don't think so. (laughs) That's okay. I'd rather it be purple. very sophisticated. I'd rather it be purple, but that's a lot of work. It is. It's a lot of upkeep. Mine is, it's finally fading, but it stayed stuck for quite a while. Well, and it's still like, it's the colors that it is. is Yeah, you can can still tell that it's, it is colored for sure. Like the pink is still there. There's still a little blue. blue. It's Um, very pretty. Yeah, but it was a lot more vibrant earlier, and it's too long now, too. It's like, mm-hmm. I can grab, like, a fistful of my hair, and it's driving me insane. So <laughs> Some people might call that a bonus. Well, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but I have to, like, worry about how to style it now. I can't just, like, throw some pomade in it and go yeah. anymore. So. <laughs> well, and it's funny, because I can see our last video from two weeks ago when mm-hmm. I first cut mine, and yeah, mine, too, like, mm-hmm. it was just like, bloop. Yes. And now it is not... But I think I used different shampoo this week, mm-hmm. and so that always has a dramatic effect on my texture. Mm-hmm. Water temperature, like, changed mine, because oh, yeah. I was, like, only, I was expressly, like, only washing my hair in very cold water, mm-hmm. and then I stopped having time to do that, <laughs> so yeah. I was like, ah, oh, it's just getting done in the shower when I'm showering, instead of... You know, on a separate, its own little separate thing. Mm-hmm. So it fades a little faster in warmer water. And I expected that, and I do know that. So I'm going to go back to making time to only washing my hair in cold water for a while. Yeah. Which is fine. But I'm very excited about it. I took your recommendation for Amy at Hotheads. And oh, good. So I'm excited good. to see I really how like she her. Does. Yeah, she's so sweet. Yeah. We're going next week on Friday, I think, because Aiden has off school. Mm-hmm. So we're going to get her hair trimmed next week. Nice. Yeah, she's fun. Yeah, so I'm excited to see what happens, and hopefully we'll get everything done, and I'm looking forward to seeing look, that. Look, it's stripes. so stripy. Stripes. So stripy and fun. Stripes. I like it. And I love that sparkle. It's just like a little bit yeah. of sparkle in it. And eventually it will have spiders. And then I'm not going to want to give it to Sage. I'm going to want to keep it. Well, make your own. <laughs> maybe. Or I'll make one for you. <laughs> right? Like maybe. And this is all clearance here, and I just bought clearance stuff. Yeah. Oh, also we had our, our community knit, and it was lovely. Oh, yeah. I, was, I completely forgot about that because it was on a Tuesday, and I You don't... were doing conferences. Yeah, I was. I also, even if I hadn't had conferences, I would have been dead. So. <laughs> well, right. <laughs> yes. I didn't want to go. I was really tired. But mm-hmm. I went, and it was lovely. Kelly was so there, lovely. and... Erica was there, oh, and Kathy was there, mm-hmm. and Molly. I love it. That makes me so happy. Okay, yeah. Things are, things are going well. It seems like the guild is not sucking. We're getting so there. That's cool. We need, <laughs> we need mm-hmm. money, mm. banking, mm-hmm. 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 and yeah, I had a check written last time. I had a check written, and then like our membership chair bailed. <laughs> it was like. All right, yeah. all right, I guess I'll get that taken care of next meeting. <laughs> yeah. So, or I'll mail it in. That's what Colleen was going to do. So yeah. I might do that. But also, post office, envelope, stamps, who has those around? <laughs> right. Hello, Otherwise... I'm a millennial. I do everything, like, automatic deduction. And... Well, and it just, <laughs> the website's going to be amazing. It'll just be so nice if we could just get it done. <laughs> well, no, I was going to say just, you know, go on the website and be like, mm-hmm. oh, I want to be a member. Right. But we need to actually click, get click, that click. put together. So it's taking time. It's a whole thing. It It'll get done. Thing. It'll get done. It's And you know, it's the whole delegating. Whole volunteering. Like not having jobs. the right person to delegate it to. Right. Right. Because we only have, you know, the people that we can work with. The newsletter is beautiful. It is we delegated gorgeous. that one to the right person. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's so yeah, good. She's, she's <laughs> so amazing. good. So now we just need to figure out all the other jobs. We'll I could there. delegate the presidency. We got so much done this year, that. man. We got so much done. We did. Yeah, we've been having a good year in the guild. So if you are in the Milwaukee area, come come hang out with us. We're good. We're good humans. We have good speakers now. We mm-hmm. like have real people coming to talk to us now. It's very exciting. Yep. <laughs> and we're working on socks for charity. Yes, knit us socks. I'm going to grab a couple of sock skeins, I think, for when I go over to Cream City. Yeah. And have them crank some and 
do the you could just heels and toes and things. Yeah, I don't know how to use your sock winder. <laughs> I don't either. So you're just gonna make them do it for you? Yeah, because well, they nice. volunteered to do that. It was like you know, yeah. it'll take a little while to to get it done, of course, but like I'm fine with that. Um, and they'll get it to me next meeting, and yeah, then I can great. throw some some heels and toes on it. Yeah, I've probably got some at home that I could do that way too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's my plan, and I'm excited to do that for them because I always have extra sock yarn around. Oh yeah, so, I think everybody does. Yeah, like oh, this was pretty. I don't remember what I was gonna do with this, you know, three years ago when I first bought it. <laughs> yeah, it's around. So yeah, I'm excited. Well, and also like Poshmark and stuff. Like you can buy lots of like closeouts or stuff that isn't even stuff that you'd miss. Mm-hmm. And get it for a really good price. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is true. So, yeah, I'm happy to, to be doing something good with it. And good. Yeah. Exciting stuff. Yay stuff. Yay stuff. So, <laughs> next is Halloween. Mm-hmm. And then we've got a month until Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. And then it's my birthday. Mm-hmm. Well, your birthday's in there. Mm-hmm. And then Christmas. And then, oh my gosh. Yeah, things are just going to like start snowballing. Because it's getting into like... Mm. program prep for me too or winter programs are happening and yeah yeah that's gonna be a whole thing but maybe it'll snow and we won't have to leave the house in anymore yeah i read an article earlier this week well that's that is a lie i read a headline earlier this week that said the prediction is no snow and warm weather for the winter that's what my mom was saying yeah that's like well that's not gonna keep me in the house yeah, that means I have to deal with my children all winter. Outside? All winter. All winter. And outside. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't want to. Yeah. Same. <laughs> no snow days. Hi. I do have a bunch of travel and stuff. So. Yes. Eventually. I don't have I will get much, my sweater, my color work sweater made. Yes. I have a Eventually. spinning wheel. That's what I have. <laughs> yes. I have my new spinning wheel. Oh, I'm happy so with it. Good. It's pretty. Love it works. That. And I'm spinning up some like reddish tealish purplish like Ooh. that i bought at the state fair last year yeah and it's so pretty are you so getting excited. enough that like you can do a whole sweater or are you just getting like one-off skeins at this point i have mostly one-off skeins at okay. this point which fair like i don't i haven't bought like a giant like yeah. sweater quantity of roving yet because i didn't know when i was first getting into spinning how mm-hmm. long i would stick with it you know so i've got enough that i could probably make you know, oh, I could, you know, use it for my, my color work cowls and things. So, oh, yeah, that would hats be fun. Or mittens or so I can use it for things. Um, but, yeah, just, just kind of smaller skeins at this point. And yeah. I will eventually buy, you know, roving in quantities large enough that I will make a sweater out of it. Yeah, fun. I could make a small human-sized sweater, but I am not a small well, human. So. the ranunculus said 500 yards. Yeah, I might be able to And get. so my ranunculus that I made, mm-hmm. I used two skeins that someone else had spun. Mm-hmm. So I was just curious. Yeah. I think it's, I'm, I'm still kind of a baby spinner too, so I'm still working on things like consistency. And, oh, heck yeah. Yeah. So I'll get better. And then I will be able to make sweater quantities of yarn. And That's awesome. Then I will become a shepherd. There you go. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> because are you going to move back yes. to Nebraska by your mom or are you going to move to a completely different state oh who knows <laughs> <laughs> just say no. yes, I'll have to discuss this with my, my partner <laughs> I'd, I'd be like mother you already have alpacas she does she has llamas, llamas, has llamas. Yeah. no alpacas I would like to have alpacas though alpacas they're happy fun. happy little girl. I want bowling pin ducks and dairy goats ooh I like a dairy goat goats are fun Goats are fun. Not to mention goat cheese. Hello. Yes. Yeah, I want sheepies, little Icelandic sheeps, because they're cute. Sparkles. <laughs> Sparkles. E. See if, if I just so cute. if I just sit still, I'll get it finished, right? Yeah, that's how it that's how it works. You have to like tell your children to leave you the fuck alone. Tell your husband to leave you the fuck alone and just sit still for a while. I need a self driving car. <laughs> that too. So that I can knit and drive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I need... Or just uh, take the bus everywhere. I was going to say, I need I need a train trip travel so Ooh, that I yes. can sit on the train and look out at all the pretty colors. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think any of that's happening. Yes. I 
We'll have plenty of time to, I will probably get the, my entire hat done on the flight to Alaska, because I'm going to do the Alaska hat on the flight yeah, to Alaska. Yeah, the one that I made with the trees? Yeah. That's the one? Yeah, I love it. It turned out so cute. And I don't think it's going to take that long. I have a small head, so I have to do like a pretty small pattern. Well, um, that pattern actually is only one size. Oh. And the reason mine is so big, because I you added chart. a yeah. whole chart. I will probably, is... I might have to decrease the chart. I have a very small head. I don't think you'll have to. Okay. <laughs> because it's a wide chart. It's like. Okay. Maybe not then. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think good. that, I think I was looking at the flights and they're like nine hours. So I'm like, that is plenty of time to make a hat. <laughs> That's really long. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's got like a layover in it. So it's like yeah. an hour and a half to the first airport and then like okay. a layover and then like five and a half hours. I yeah. Think. When I go, we're just flying to Seattle. Mm-hmm. And I maybe got, yeah, I think we got direct flight. Oh, okay. So that's nice. Yeah. But I'm also going to Florida mm-hmm. because my kid's going to a conference. And I said, mm, not real not comfortable by with you. Not by, by yourself. yourself. You're not. So, <laughs> like, she can be as independent as she wants, but I'm going to go just in case. Yeah. So I have to go to Florida, and I don't have anything planned. So hopefully that whole weekend I can just sit. But that's not until February. That so I've got, I've got two retreats. That's Orlando. Mm-hmm. Paris is before that. But the whole thing, I want my sweater for Paris. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And need it's color work, so it's need to get not it likely done. to get done. Actually, the one I want to make for Paris is only a little bit of color work. It's that other... Mm. Mm. <laughs> but I bought cashmere to make it out of. Yay, cashmere sweater. Yeah, well, I'd have to go back maybe really Maybe some of your Christmas gifts can be late, and you can make your sweater first. Well, and they're small. Mm-hmm. I just have to... I just keep getting distracted. You know how that goes. Yes, I do. Or I lose the energy to do anything, which is the other thing that I struggle with. Or I get sidetracked on another hyperfixation. Right. Well, and that's, that's, that's my kind biggest of my issue. thing. It's like, it's like, oh, I don't know. I played Stardew, da- Stardew Valley for three weeks because... That's what my brain wanted to do. <laughs> right. Well, and for me, it's like, ooh, new yarn. Ooh, a new pattern. Yeah. Hey, there's new stuff. I want to ooh, make new Ooh, a new stuff. craft. <laughs> I'm felting now. <laughs> I've decided to take up spinning. Oh. I've decided to take up weaving. I've decided to... Yeah. Yeah. That's my issue is my brain just is like, no, you're done with this for now. You're bored. Yeah. Learn something new. What was this one? No. I don't know either. I made something green. Something it's really green. cute, but I don't know what it is. Cows? Hat? I oh, I think that was the other hat that I made no. for... Oh, summer hat? Your summer hat from when you were doing the... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Your matching hat. <laughs> yeah, I'm going through my photos and I'm like, I don't, I don't know what mm. they're... I don't know nothing. I probably shouldn't be going through photos. I should probably be looking at my other thing. But anyway, I have a whole sweater, and it's purple and black, and I want to make that. And then I want to make my purple on purple on purple on purple. All the purples? Mm Mm-hmm. Yes. You're going to do lots of things. And you knit fast once you actually get them started. So that is the, the hardest thing, is just getting this started. Oh, I've got lots of things started. Mm. But, yeah, being consistent or yeah. staying focused yeah. or... Yeah, if you can focus on one project for an extended period, it'll go quickly. I cannot. Yeah. This well. is this is not in my skill set. Indeed. I was going to say, is it in your... Where? I justified getting two new um, lemon wood uh, yarn minders, mini yarn minders, because of this. Ooh, where I'm like, yeah. I always have more than one project going, and, you know... I want to have my yarn balls easy to access for whatever project I'm doing. Because right now it's got my little sparkly sparkly black yarn from my penguins on it. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't always want to work on my penguin. Ooh, Lauren, <laughs> remember the dress you made me? Uh-huh. I still have to tack the pocket. And then I can wear it. Oh, yeah. Good I mean, you could wear it even without doing that. But if you want to put something in your pockets, I recommend sealing them up. I'm sorry I didn't do it. No, it's okay. I, I hate just, sewing. So <laughs> it's like in my closet because it's still like it's almost mm-hmm. like sixty. I think 
would yeah, be okay about, for wearing that. It's about that. that that time of year. I can throw I throw leggings under it, and this is about the right weather for it. So, well, yeah. and apparently, the pattern isn't in my raffle here. Yeah, no, I don't know. I've got okay. it printed out somewhere. It's somewhere around here. I just couldn't tell you what it's called. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We can talk about it next time. We're a calmer mess today. Maybe that's at least something. Yeah, I feel a little <laughs> less frantic today. Yeah, that's nice. Oh. That's a nice change. Oh, yeah. Well, I suppose we should probably get back to having a day. Yeah, I should go rescue my dog out of the kennel at home. Oh, that's cute. Oh, cute. Little mushroom. Little mushroom. Happy it's a mushroom. pinata. Oh, cute. Yeah, my friend made it. Cute, cute. I've seen these little crochet, like, mushroom pocket things. It's like this little, like, pouch, and then that, like, slides down with the little mushroom cap. is very cute. So I need to figure out how to do that because it's adorable, and it makes me happy. It brings me joy. Anyway. All right. So I suppose we can wrap up. Yeah. Yeah, but then I have to go back to normal life, and I don't want to. Eh, I'd rather sit here and talk about knitting take all day. Take a nap instead. <laughs> there, there's no napping. Okay. No, no napping. Pretend but you're knitting. sitting here. Pretend you're sitting here and talking about knitting and just sit watching, here and knit watching instead. murder and knitting and yes. hoping my kids don't find me. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Until your kid's stepdad stalks you <laughs> and finds out where you are. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. <sighs> all righty. Well. We will right. be back next time. Hopefully next time we will have a skill to tack on, a new skill, because yeah. we've been so, sleeping on that. Yeah, and, two uh, weeks from now is November. It's the day before your birthday? Yeah, the day before birthday celebration. What My birthday's you... on the first. So. Oh, yeah. Mm. See, we have to know. I yeah. got you. <laughs> yeah. And then you'll be old like me. Not old. Not even close. <laughs> not, neither of us going to be old. I'm turning 34. I'll um, be 49 yeah, that's in not December. Old. It's not old. It's not young either. I mean, no, but, you know, I don't want to be young. Young was shitty. I did stupid shit when I was young. So. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> my um, 20s were fun. My 30s were depressing. Yeah. Then I got married and then inherited a kid and yeah. stress. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe 50 will be better. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. And yes. then somewhere 10 years at least from now I'll have grandkids and that'll be super fun yes and that'll be like this this is what I've been waiting for there you go mm-hmm. yes alright well we'll be back at maybe I'll be point widowed in the future I oh. mean what <laughs> <laughs> no one heard that <laughs> goose <brava. laughs> That did not happen for legal reasons. And um, nobody watched 2020 in the next, like, 10 years, right? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we, were, we were on our trip, and he's like, why? Why does everyone think I'm gay? And I'm like... <laughs> and he kept pushing it, so then I tried to answer him, on, and he didn't want to hear it. He was mad at me, because I'm not too a, blunt. It's not a legitimate question, so it was just a... It was entirely a rhetorical question. Yeah. But so basically... You know, marriage bliss. <laughs> Ten years, man. Ten years. Three. Three for me. Yeah. Um, and I still like my husband. I was going to say, I think that's a whole other podcast, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. To be married or not to be married. To be or not to be. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All righty. Well, we'll catch you on the flip side when we're back next time. And who knows when that will be. At some point. So. I don't know. We might have to have a birthday celebration and yes, eat cake or I don't know. That would be delightful. We should do that. Something. We should do something. Yeah. All, All right. right. Well, anyway, keep mm-hmm. knitting. Bye, everyone. Bye.